Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about the data consolidation feature in Excel. Data consolidation can be used to consolidate the figures from multiple worksheets into one master worksheet. For example, in this workbook, we have two worksheets representing the unit sales from a company in the North region and the South region. Both worksheets are sorted and organized in the same way. They have the same labels for the products in the same order. There are two ways to consolidate data. You can do it either by position or category. When you consolidate by position, the data in the source area have to be the same order and use the same labels, such as in the example that we're showing here. When you do consolidation by category, the data in the source areas are not arranged in the same order, but they use the same labels. First of all, I'm going to demonstrate how to do the consolidate by position. So we have our two worksheets that are sorted in the same order, same labels, and everything's identical. So we're just going to copy one of these to create a consolidation sheet. So I'm going to click on the move and copy. We'll move it to the end, create a copy. And we're going to rename this to corporate. Up here, we'll replace the south with corporate because this is going to be our consolidation sheet. So, so then uh, on our consolidation sheet, we're going to eliminate these numbers here because that's the data. And so we'll clear that out. And that creates our consolidation sheet. So first thing you want to do is make sure that this area here where you're going to consolidate the data is selected. And then up here on the data tab, we're going to go to the data tools section and select the consolidation button. That brings up this consolidate task, task pane. By default, it uses the sum function because that's by far the most commonly used one. Uh, but you also have these other options of doing average and so forth. But we're going to stick with the sum for this example. The next field in our argument field is the reference. Here's where we're going to put the the references to the numbers that we want consolidated. So the first one is going to be on the North uh, Regional Worksheet, and we'll select the data in D, uh, B4 through D9, and we'll add that sheet to our consolidation. And then when we select the South Worksheet tab, it uses the same reference range of cells for the reference. So all we have to do is click Add. So then we're going to click OK. And now we have our consolidated numbers. And we can check that by looking here at the total. See, the, for corporate, it's 2605. So north is 13105 plus 145 gives you 27605. So that is the data consolidation by position. You, if you remember, on the consolidate by position, both the north and south regional worksheets were formatted the same, the same labels, and in the same order, they were all sorted one to six for the widgets. In this case, uh, the South region worksheet, now the widgets or the product names are not in the same order because they're sorted by the total in ascending order. And you'll also notice that the months are not in the same order, so your column headings are also in a different order. So to consolidate this data, we're going to use the consolidate by category. So I've already created the consolidation worksheet. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is select the area that we're going to consolidate. And this time, we're going to, we're going to select both the labels for the products and the labels for the months. And then we're going to go up to the Data tab. And in the Data Tools section, you choose the Data Consolidation. And we're using the sum again. And for the first reference, we're going to go to the North worksheet. And we're going to select that same range that we've got on that first one. Notice we don't have the totals selected. And we're going to add that to our consolidation. Then we're going to go to the South Worksheet tab. And again, it inserts the same cell range, but with the South Worksheet selected. And we're going to add that. And this time, we're going to use this Use Labels in, top row and left column, because we're going to use those labels to make sure we match the numbers correctly. And then we can click OK. And we'll get the same result that we did on the other one, even though the worksheets were different orders, order different, uh, the months were in different orders, the products were in different order, 
but it still knows how to consolidate it properly. Because if we look at for north, it's 13,105, south, 14,500, and that equals 27,605. So we know that it did it correctly. So that's the consolidation by category. And there's one last thing to explain about data consolidation, and that is the difference between automatic and manual consolidation, or sometimes referred to as dynamic versus static consolidation. So one thing to notice when we did our consolidation and, and that worked out fine, but if we go to one of these individual tabs that are our source data, like for instance, North here, and we change the unit sales for the month of April for the widget one, we increase that by a thousand and hit enter. Notice that the total increased for the North sales, but when, when we go to the corporate uh, roll up, it didn't change. And that's because when we did our consolidation, we did it as a static consolidation. In other words, we didn't uh, hit the radio button that says create links to our source data. So we can change that by clicking on our consolidated sheet here and highlight the range of cells that we used for our consolidation. And then go up here to the consolidate button and click on this create links to the source data and then click OK. Now we can see that that 28605, the 1596 got incorporated into that total. So if we go back here and we change this back to 596, for instance, hit enter, see this went back down to 13105, and that's also reflected in our um, consolidated worksheet. So if you want the consolidated worksheet to be updated when your source data is updated, and you want that to happen dynamically or automatically, you would click on that button that says to create links to the source data. Hope that explains how that uh, works. So I uh, hope that helped. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe and like.